You mentioned Taobao a couple of times too. So yeah. tell us a little bit about that and how they came to be and how Alibaba played a part in that. Well, so Taobao was really um, the retail e-commerce um, you know, arm of, of Alibaba Group. And it was started initially because of the fear that you know, eBay, if they came into the China market, they would really not only take the consumer marketplace, but they might actually move into other areas that were competitive with, with Alibaba Group. More importantly was the realization that um, the Chinese consumers did not have access to products um, that the rest of the world did because they had such a rudimentary retail, um, like I talked about earlier, infrastructure system. So I think a big driver too, beyond just the competitive aspects, was that consumers in China had curiosity and a desire to access products from all over the world, but they weren't able to do that through the traditional means. So how do we actually give them access to that through the internet? And one of the things that people always talk about at eBay is that they had 95% market share at the time that um, Taobao got started. That's true if you look at the uh, addressable market that was already online and already purchasing products. But if you look at the addressable market, which was 90, so, so that's probably like three to four million, I guess, at that time. But if you look at the addressable market that was already online in say 2003, 2004, it was like 90 million, okay? And you could say, well, that's the market that we're trying to address and, and provide them access to these products. But if you, if you take a step back further and say, no, actually the addressable market is not just those who are online, but actually the entire sort of retail market, that's, that was at the time like seven, 800 million. And so what Taobao really thought about is how do we serve this seven, 800 million people that want access to all these products but don't know how to find it? That's what we're creating for them. And that marketing approach was dramatically different from what you would do if you were like just competing with eBay. We actually used the same process we did with B2B, educate the market through very traditional means. Like we'd have seminars, we'd do a lot of offline stuff to kind of educate the, um, the normal Chinese consumer that Taobao was the place to find anything from anywhere. Uh, and you can do that all through your internet. You know? so, so in a way we drove the adoption and the use of the internet for um, you know, retail consumption. How is it doing today? Oh, so today it's like over um, a billion um, you know, users and uh, over a trillion dollars in gross merchandise value. Uh, so it's by far the largest in the world. And that, again, is the result of kind of this evolution of this ecosystem that um, you know, uh, Alibaba Group really helped to catalyze.